So this has to be the weirdest glitch I've ever seen in Star Citizen. I'm calling it the lightning storm because as the name suggests, it's doing exactly that. When you get close to it, there is a ton of wind going on. Everything is blowing around. Then the whole thing is not stationary. It's actually moving around. Um, and one very weird thing is while we were just exploring the Hull Sea and just trying to test fly it a little bit, um, we came across this thing and we noticed that it also literally, it, it literally lights up the map in a perfectly physically correct way. So it's causing shadows on the other side. It's lighting up the entire surface area together with the ship. Um, it's crazy. And like I said, ladies and gents, this thing is moving. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna fly right through the storm, follow it, fly through, right? And, uh, and then with my friend Gadget and I, uh, then we're going to exit and we're letting the storm pass over us okay and i'm not sure if this is like in the future going to be some sort of um you know lightning storm that might be happening or if it's just a glitched windstorm that somehow ended up causing these weird lightning glitches but i'm i believe there is a chance that maybe they're also experimenting with actually creating certain uh, weather um, elements such as lightning storms, right? Why shouldn't they occur on certain uh, planets? Um, I guess they do or would require an atmosphere of some kind, but um, yeah, so you see we're standing still now and the storm is catching up with us. So we're going up just to find out how high can you see it, right? Is it gonna be something you can see from another, from space? But no. As soon as you get like three kilometers high, somehow the storm completely disappears. So we're going back down here and see what happens. There it is again. It's still there. It's actually there. It's like physically there on the planet's surface, moving across the surface. And even just disengaging and re-engaging to it, it will bring it back up. So what we do here now, we're flying through the storm, standing on... <laughs> on the elevator on the Hull C, which by the way, there's gonna be an Hull C review coming at some point. I'm already getting the video footage together. It's a really interesting ship. I feel like I would like to see some more of it in the future. Uh, so far, the use cases are a little limited on it, um, but uh, it could be used in the future for sure. And I'd like to do that. And uh, I'm working on a review um, for, for the Hull C. But yeah, so we're, we're here sitting down there on the, on the right, you can see me, um, or standing rather, in this elevator position where there is gravity. And my friend is just meanwhile moving through the storm. And you see how the wind is blowing over the mountains. There is an insane amount of wind. If you're standing on the surface, you can barely even move, at least against the wind direction. So this is basically what it like looks like in the engine when uh, when a storm is taking place, it's, at least that's how I how I picture this to function. Uh, temperatures or nothing is changing in the bottom left. It's all the same, um, but you see we're exactly in the middle of this storm, um, and it's super interesting. And obviously, shooting it doesn't do anything. It's not really anything with a hitbox, but uh, we're flying through it. And my friend Gadget is going to accelerate forward now, and we're going to land with the Hull C on the on the ground and step out far enough away so that the storm that seems to be taking exactly the same direction all the time will head right right over us right all we have to do we already found exactly the direction it's taking um so all we have to do now is land and wait a few seconds um after we've gotten enough head head uh, headway um and uh, and then it should be following us uh, and going right over us. And I show you what I mean by saying storm. I mean, even just away from it still, it's stormy as heck, right? Um, hold on, we're making it. So we're so far away now that basically the storm is almost not visible anymore. It just flickers in the distance. And seeing this, you would actually think there's just lightning going on in the distance, right? Uh, which almost makes me think maybe there is some experimentation with lightning storms going on. But then again, why would this be happening on the live server, right? Even like they would be testing this on the PTU or something, not on the live server. Uh, so it's definitely glitched in some way. But um, I still think it's interesting. Whoa, okay, that was a quite a hefty landing. But, you know, we don't have the time uh, to uh, to land and take our time. Look, I'm already falling all, all over, which is maybe due to the exhaust uh, from the Hull Sea, but it might also have something to do with the storm, which is coming closer and closer. And you see how everything is windy. 
every, like the, the wind is just blowing all over the place and you can barely see anything, especially in the external view while this is getting closer. But we are standing here um, right behind us with the camera. We can see everything perfectly now. This complete darkness is completely filled with perfect light. Gajek has meanwhile also managed to get out of there. Uh, and we're now com <laughs> enjoying the view of getting overrun by this, um, well, by this lightning storm. Maybe I should have spoken out an epileptic warning before <laughs> uh, before starting this video. But yeah, so that was something I wanted to share with you. Tell me what you think. What impressions did you get from this? And thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video. Manny signing off. Bye-bye, my friends.